classification of, of uh, prisoners so ang classification of prisoners uh, the four main classification prisoners so we discussed this in our, our previous videos now the insular prisoners or uh, what we call it the national prisoners uh, one who is sentenced to prison term of three years and one day to death and the provincial prisoners uh, who is sentenced to a prison term of six months and one day to three years and the city prisoner one who is sentenced to a prison term of uh, one day to three years and the municipal prisoners one who is sentenced to a prison term of, of one day to six months so take note neither students so the next one is the classification of detainees so there are three three types of detainees are those undergoing investigation so mga detainees na siya tulo ka klase nga detainee katong nag undergo investigation kadoha awaiting or undergoing trial so nag undergo pag trial the third one is waiting for final judgment naguhat na lang sa final judgment mo na gitawag og detainee the three types of detainee and inmate security classification so the following are the classification of inmates according to secretaries so there are classification po sa atong inmates so ganina detainee kani inmates ni so ang high risk inmates so ilahi na siya and of course the high profile inmates and the ordinary inmates so isi isi ilahi lahi po ni ang atong mga inmates dili ra ni sila ipunon og high risk ba na high profile ordinary inmates so a separate na siya and then the requirements for commitment so commit uh, first is the commitment order and the second one is the medical certificate complaint information and the police uh, booking sheet so moving forward the special need or unusual offenders so as a general rule, a special and unusual offender should not be held in jails with other offenders. Uh, female offenders should be confined in separate institutions for men. However, until adequate, adequately in detention, homes shall have been provided. The jail will continue to serve as their temporary home. So separated na siya ang mga uh, women uh, or gitawag og female offenders separate to the institution for uh, men. Of course, ilahi yun na kay na delikado kayo na ipor pa bayag laki, no? Di ba? So good pud nga separate. And the next one is the following are the offenders with special need. Uh unusual offenders, mo ni siya mga special need of female, drug addicts, alcoholics, uh, mentally ill, sex deviates, special uh, escape prone prisoners or detainees suicide risk offenders uh, the handicap age and infirm no uh, the the youthful offenders so and alien offenders so they will be uh, separated uh, next one is the uh, definition of terms so what is commitment order so commitment orders are written order of the court or any other competent authority consigning an offender to a jail or prison for confinement. So, mga nagitawag commitment order. Uh, the next one is the contraband. So, in article item or things prohibited by law and or forbidden by jail rules. So, kung ang mga gitawag contraband, example, mga kutsilyo, so, pusil, so, bas the things that prohibited by law, so, mga nagitawag Contraband, no? forbidden by the jail rule. Uh, escape, an act of getting out unlawfully for the confinement or custody of offenders. So, katong mo kapo, mo gitawag escape, motakas. Then, in instrument of restraint. So, a device, uh, contrivance, tool or instrument used to hold back and keep in check or control an offender. So handcuffs, leg iron, so those are mga devices, no? Mga kita instrument of restraint. Yeah. 
Another one is jail, a place of confinement for offenders and their business no waiting their going trial. So, we discussed na to a while ago. So, mo nagkita ako ng jail. The next one is the mitimos. A mitimos is a warrant issued by the court bearing its seals and signature of the judge directing the jail or prison authorities to receive offenders for custody or service of sentence imposed there. And so, nagkitawag o mitimos na issued by the court bearing seals and signature of the judge na directing to jail or prison authorities para i-receive yung mga offenders into custody no for a service of sentence no mga convicted na niya mga offenders so money ang ihatag sa judge gikan sa korte eh, gitawag mitimos dito nakasulat ang iyang service of sentence nga gi-impose by the judge or by the court the next one is the penology Sa penology is a branch of criminology which deals with management and administration of offenders. So, a branch of criminology, take note, a branch of criminology which deals with the management. Ang mag-manage sa administration of offenders will be the penology. The rehabilitation, a program of activity directed to restore an offender's self-respect, thereby making him a law-abiding citizen after serving his sentence or rehabilitation. Uh, from the word rehabilitate, no? Mone ang... Um, one of the program of the uh, jail or prison then safekeeping uh, the temporary custody of a person for its own protection no protection safety or care and that of community from him safekeeping of the person or offenders or detainee the next one is uh, offender either a prisoner or detainee confined in jail so Mga personal man na siya, na, na confine man na siya sa uh, uh, jail, uh, either, uh, either a prisoner or a detainee confined in jail. No? That is called it the offender. Detainee, a person accused before a court or competent authority, who is temporarily confined in jail when undergoing or awaiting investigation trial or final judgment. So, undergoing trial pa ganyan na siya, investigation, under investigation. Uh, waiting for final judgment, mo na kita ako detainee. A prisoner, an offender who is convicted, uh, convicted na nasa, manag umana o prosecuted ng trial sa korte, na na isuwan na sa korte o uh, final judgment, na uh, what's what they call it, uh, prisoner. So according to William Longgood, dreams and dedications are a powerful combination. So my dear students, uh, that that uh, that is our uh, short discussion about the modern concept of penology. I hope uh, that you will learn uh, a lot about this uh, topic, and this also serve uh, this also serve as part of your prelim examination uh, next week. So if you have questions, uh, you can comment this uh, video. And if you have violent reactions, so you can uh, free, you are free to comment to us. You can PM or comment down below. So this uh, video. So thank you so much for listening. I hope uh, you will learn uh, something new today. So about this topic. So lastly, I can say that uh, just do good always and continue your goals, your dreams in life and I hope uh, I believe that someday uh, you will be successful so you have to hard work and do your tasks and obligations as a student so that someday you will become uh, what you have uh, imagined or what you have dreamed today, thank you so much and have a great day ahead my dear students Bye-bye. Thank you.